This just might be the coolest, cutest, and smartest gadget of 2020 so far. And thank God, because 2020 really needed something like this. Best of all, you might actually be able to buy one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone. Welcome home and give a hearty hello to the Raspberry Pi 400. I know the first impressions aren't everything, but we might look back at this moment 10 years from now and identify this as the time that a new era of classic home computers began. Now, for those of you not as ancient as me, I'm referencing the glory days of other PCs that were housed inside of a keyboard, like the Commodore Amiga or the BBC Micro. Of course, back in 1987, when the Amiga 500 launched, it went for 699 US dollars. Adjusted for inflation, Today, that would be almost $1,600. Thankfully, the Raspberry Pi 400 continues the affordability we've all come to appreciate by starting at just 70 bucks. So for that, you get the four gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 integrated elegantly into a white keyboard, or you can spend an even $100 to get a complete kit, which includes a Raspberry Pi 400 computer, and that of course features a quad-core ARM processor, four gigs of RAM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and 4K playback. You get the official USB mouse, you get the official USB-C power supply, you get an SD card with Raspberry Pi OS pre-installed, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable, and the official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is boldly calling the $100 Pi 400 computer kit the Christmas morning product. Since it's effectively an all-in-one, out-of-the-box PC that just plugs into your existing TV or monitor. The shrewd timing isn't just great for gift givers, though. The fact that Ubuntu 20.10 now serves up desktop images for the Raspberry Pi 4 means that one of the most popular and accessible Linux distros can be used on this. From kids to grandmas to everyone in between who's interested in programming or Linux, the Raspberry Pi 400 PC sounds kind of perfect, at least on paper. When I heard about this this morning, I exercised absolutely zero self-control and picked one up, so you can expect a deeper dive here in the coming days and weeks. This will actually be my first Raspberry Pi 4 experience, and I'll be trying a little bit of everything on it, including the uh, included <laughs> Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu 20.10, Twister OS, and one that I've been really eager to try, which is Manjaro's Pi Edition with KDE Plasma. What's great to see is all the different keyboard variants that Raspberry Pi Foundation is rolling out with. So right now at launch, you can choose between UK or US English and French layouts, but Italian, German, and Spanish variants are going out to resellers right now, and they should be available by next week. Now, if you're shopping from India, Australia, or New Zealand, the Raspberry Pi Foundation says the Pi 400 kits and computers should be in stock by the end of the year. So keep an eye on raspberrypi.org for updates and subscribe to this channel right here for more coverage of the Raspberry Pi 400. Let me know if you're planning on getting one in the comments or uh, what kind of testing that you wanna see done and we'll try to make it happen. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, click that like button and until we chat again, you guys take care and take care of each other. So I actually didn't get into the Raspberry Pi until I kind of started my Linux journey two, two and a half years ago or so. Uh, this is what I've got. It's the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and I was using it mainly as a Kodi box. So uh, anyway, I'm really looking forward to the Pi 400.